Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Inkeyes and welcome to another installment of Inky's Inside Indie where we kind of look at indie games that are either out or in development and are cool that you should check out for yourself or put it on your radar for when they come out in the future or if they're early access, get involved in them. This one is called Ruin of the Reckless. It was a Kickstarter project. It's still an alpha and uh, it's a really fun game, it's, it's by Faux Operative Games, and I actually played it on my channel, I played it on stream, and let's go check it out. It's kind of the... I don't want to compare it to a bunch of other games, but if, if I, I were to kind of give you a good idea, you could kind of compare it to Nuclear Throne, um, kind of mashed with, like, Risk of Rain-ish kind of thing? But anyway, you find yourself, you're lost, you find yourself in, in this place and you're climbing this tower. Uh, you have multiple different abilities and you can actually take these orbs around the level. And the games actually come along very nicely. Since last time that I played it and saw it, uh, there have been a bunch of different updates and stuff. Uh, th these things in the corner look different. Number four is my health. By the way, you have a time limit, so I have to like talk to you and keep going at the same time. What I did is, I, I have a capacity for these balls, it says 1 out of 1, because I just took uh, a, a ball. Uh, I had, for every level that you gain, you can grab another ball. And these balls basically are uh, your extra abilities. Things that give you, you know, uh, new powers and new skills and different things that you can experiment with. Um, as you can see, I also have multiple attacks. I have a left-click attack. I have a right-click attack. I don't have uh, a, a right-click ability item yet. Uh, not boots. No, give me the boots! Got it, got it. But, um, hmm. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so now, since we leveled up, I can take another one of these balls. This one's agility. It gives me faster movement. You also have consumable, like this potion of fire that you trigger using Q, and you have spells that you use using Shift. And you saw me actually toss the spells. Uh, I also got a dodging belt level 2, which is really awesome. It automatically allows you to dodge enemy attacks. And for every level, you have to find a key for the exit pedestal. You have to survive, obviously. And if you run out of time here, 65 seconds, then these netherland portals open up and flood the level with these insane uh, homing bullets that pretty much guarantee that you die. Fire pet affinity. Uh, these affinity ones give you companions. They are pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. One of my favorite mechanics in this game. And there's a lot of unique mechanics that I really enjoy. Uh, you also eventually will get to whoosh up. Damn it. Spell I totally failed my spell. Okay, pet arc totem. I'm gonna take it. The, you can also carry a totem with you. Uh, these totems spawn a companion for you at the start of uh, uh, each level. By the way, I'm about to die so hard. And if you actually clear all the enemies on the floor before the time runs out, you get a, a bonus experience, which will help you level up. Uh, much quicker. Siri, I didn't call you. What are you doing? Go back to sleep. Aha! Customer! I told you, Rufus. Our exotic location will attract business. That's that's about talking, by the way. Excuse me? So let's see, let's see what my Siri on my phone captured. <laughs> Experience level up a busker. Siri, I did not call you a high customer. I told you. What? And she responded, who? Me? That's very sensical. Um, these numbers, I have no idea what these stand for. At all. There's also a secret room here. They've incorporated- Oh, you found my secret stash. You think you can afford something like that? Uh, these cards are modifiers for the game. They've been in a recent edition since the last time that I, uh, p was playing this game. Uh, and also you have all these other things that you can buy. I Right now I have 103 Z's. And I can take one of these balls if I wanted to sort fire pet affinity. It's pretty cool. Scavenger is a very nice ability. 
Uh, grab bag gives you a bunch of things. I might take that, but also, I have zero HP, so I think the best thing to get is this potion of health here. And pop it right away. Grab our old potion again. Check out these belts real quick. Super boots. Wait, what? What, what, what do super boots do? I'm not sure. Arc soul, large arc soul. And book of clouds. These are pretty cool. If I can take one of these, I might... How much are these? 48. No, too expensive. Wait. 12? I think this is the same one that I have currently as my ability. Okay, well, we can't afford anything else. We're gonna go. So, that totem now gives me this... This dude. This dude specifically is very good at punching enemies, but we also have to protect them if they do come in contact with enemy... Oh, fire! They are consequently dead. Nice parry, nice parry. Um, potion of fire, we already have a potion of fire. I might come back to grab that since it's already by... Yeah, you can also deflect enemy bullets like that. Since it's already by my exit pedestal. Or elevator, I should say, not pedestal, so had a pedestalated elevator. <laughs> What's the pedestalated elevator, you ask? I don't know. Just accept it. Fire pit affinity, I might, I might, I might, I might, I might, I might, I might. What is this one? Uh, technician, I'll take that actually for sure, because this one will actually give me the ability to find more loot from frenemies. Ow! You dick! You also have a dodge ability with space that I have not been using properly right now. Ooh, what is that? Um, orb stone? I don't want the orb stone, actually. Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is the same one. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, just level up. Oh my god. I'm gonna use my potion on this guy just to show you guys how the potion works. And I have to take the next potion anyway, regardless. I'm gonna take another book. This spell book is really nice. Hold on. I can take this, but I'm not gonna take it because I don't want to take another companion thing. We're gonna take this potion. We're gonna be out of here. Oh no, I'm dead. Crap. My soul. Wow, he just committed suicide. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. You can also go to the menu and uh, restart at the shop with like a set amount of resources if you had reached the shop during your run. Oh god. Yeah, you can also use the orbs to instead of level up, you can fire them back at enemies. They kind of act as grenades. Dodging belt level 2, yes, absolutely. Oh! This is one of my favorite things to do is just punch back the enemy projectiles. Oh, he committed suicide. Yeah, so enemies can hurt each other. Book of Clouds is really nice. Um, wait, was Book of Clouds the, sto the swords that shoot in front of me? Yep, look at that. Holy crap. Yeah, and you can charge up spells. As you saw, I charged up for a long time to get, like, a wider effect. Technician, yep, give it to me, baby. Of course, of course. And... I could have used that book to run out of the charges. Actually, my Book of Clouds is almost out of charges. I should just use it. Pick up the, the other book. And we are done. We still have 24 monsters to kill. Uh, they res they not they don't respawn, but they are re regenerated procedurally. When you go from room to room. So that you would have to come kind of come back. I picked up the large arc soul. There's a very long delay, but it does deal more damage. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Eat my potion. Drink it, I mean. Wow. This dodging belt has been saving my butt. Nope, 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 nope. I'm with my old one. Um, there are 10 monsters left for the bonus experience, but the portal has opened up and... Oh, slash soul. Sweet. So I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't want to deal with the, all these uh, crazy balls of doom. I've beaten this game before. I actually held the... Ah! Record for the fastest time once. 
upon a time, I was promised a prize, IRL, but I never received any prizes. So developer, developers, if you're watching this video, I am still looking forward to my goodies. <laughs> well, anyway, ah! I'm gonna take that totem. And keep in mind, you still have a dodge ability, but I'm just feeling pretty good about myself not doing any dodges. We're gonna take the scavenger. Scavenger gives you more uh, gold, which could help me. Yeah. Get a uh, one of those uh, what you might call it, a modify cards from the shop. What is this one? Technician. Uh, by the way, you can the the orb level uh, orb power ups and stuff. They have tiers. Higher level, if you grab multiple ones of them, have different effects. Cool. Another thing that you can take advantage of is knocking enemies into each other, which is also pretty fun to do. You have seven monsters to kill and 29 seconds to go. That's doable. Very doable. Okay, okay. This dodge belt has been doing wonders for me. Sword Fire Pet Affinity versus. Uh, Arc Pet Affinity, I think I'm gonna go with the Sword Fire, and Boot-wise, uh, Triple Boots, I think gives you, yeah, three dodges, Super Boots, Super Jump Boots give you this leap, and I think I'm gonna go with the Triple one? And off we go to our first shop. Uh, are they all super expensive? Jesus, 12. How do you even get that much? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we do have room for one of these guys. So if I find... Oh, thick skin is amazing. So these green ones are your uh, right-click abilities. Offhand slash is really nice. Uh, grappling hook. It's decent. I never came to really love it. You, it's uh, As you guessed it, you grapple to walls or enemies and stuff. Uh, thick skin is one of my favorite ones. Increase your max HP. Ooh, Dice of Uncurse. Okay, okay. Oh, Reflective Belt is even better than the one that I have right now, but unfortunately I don't have the money for it, and I think we are good to go. Let's go. Wonderful. We get our little friend. Let's check out this Quick Charger. Meh. It's just gonna change the speed at which my spell recharges. Look at my pet. Look at my pet! So another thing that you learn to do is, uh, eventually, if you go far enough and play well enough, you end up with a ton of these companions. And it's it's very important to learn how to protect them. Because eventually you wanna you wanna do that. Um, and there'll be like an army behind you. Some of them protect you, some of them shoot things, some of them are, you know, defensive, offensive stuff like that, but you want to keep them alive so your movement... Oh god. I don't mean to take damage that I even dodged out of that. I, I thought I did. Um... Fire Pit Affinity. Oh, you destroyed it, you butt faces! But yeah, these guys, these guys are the worst enemies for your, for your pets because they just jump on your pets and murder them pretty hard. That guy just killed himself, which is awesome. Uh. But yeah, eventually you're gonna be surrounded with these orbs and you you learn how to maneuver. Shockwave is not that great, but I'll take it to show you show it to you guys. But you, you kinda learn to oh sweet. Special potions. I'm gonna take the other one. You kinda learn how to maneuver your your dude so that these guys uh, rearrange themselves in, in safer places behind you. Uh, and stay alive. Oh, we're out of time. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We got to go. We got to go! Crap. Crap. That was pretty chaotic back there. Do I have any friends left? I do! I do! What is this one? Scavenger? We're gonna pass on that. What is this one? Chunky mess? I'm okay with that. It gives us a bunch of different... Uh... Oh, I thought this was the one that gave me different things, but no, this is the one that makes him explode. Alright. Pet, get behind me. Get behind me, guys. Get behind me. 
Let me let me find ourselves. Oh shit! I clicked out of the window. The game is not in full screen. It's only in window mode. And I clicked away for a second. Okay, stay alive, dudes. Stay alive. See how well they're doing? They're shooting enemies for me off screen and stuff. Oh, this is a good place for a spell. Oh no, both of my pets died, but it's okay. We have a chance to summon more with the potion that we have. I hate these guys. These guys are so mean. Reflect the belt level two. We're gonna take that over to dodge belt just because of obvious reasons. It reflects. She is. And I don't want that. Still have room for an orb. There's also new music. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't want to take the cursed one. The slash is fast, but it has a short range. My favorite one is, I think, I forgot the name of it. It's like a gauntlet. Oh man, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna pop the friends. Have their support here. It's like a punch, the one that I really like, and it's very, very powerful. It's my favorite one of the weapons here. Oh shit. Most of my friends have vanished. This guy though, this guy though, I hate this guy. That's for sure. takes forever to die. Oh god, I'm dead. But anyway, I think this did a good job of showcasing the game. It's fast-paced, it's fun. Um, let me get back to the main menu here. But yeah, I think it's a good place to stop. It's very fast-paced, you do end up getting pretty overpowered, especially if you uh, try to maintain a very good companion, like the pet economy going. And the more similar orbs you pick up, like level 2 thick skin, level th 3 thick skin, and stuff like that, you really become powerful. Um, I might actually do a longer series of this on my channel upon uh, a beta release or like a full access release and stuff like that. But yeah, this was again Ruin of the Reckless. It's a Kickstarter. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way that you guys can get your hands on a copy, but do put it on your radar, put it in your phone or something for uh, more information. I will put links to the Kickstarter page and their own website in the description below and all the information that you'd need. And if there's any other questions that you have, uh, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any anything to say from yourself to the developers, uh, I can pass on that message or I will put information so you can actually contact them directly. And yeah, thank you for your time and attention. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you, like if you did. Sub if you're new. I'm going to try to do regular installments of the Inkies Inside Indie series. And I'm looking forward to the next one. And so should you, I think. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.